In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NHL games happening on January 28, 2023, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So two picks for each game, six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NHL games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from one betting pick a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. San Francisco 49ers versus Philadelphia Eagles. We're in the home stretch of the NFL season and that brings us to conference championship weekend with a tilt in the city of brotherly love. The second seeded San Francisco 49ers make the cross country trip to take on the top seeded Philadelphia Eagles Sunday afternoon with a trip to Super Bowl 57 on the line. San Francisco outlasted fifth seeded Dallas 19 to 12 at home in the divisional round of the playoffs last Sunday, covering the line as a three and a half point favorite. Philadelphia had an easy time dispatching the six-seeded Giants, prevailing 38-7 and easily covering the eight-point line in the process last Saturday. In the all-time regular season series between the teams, the 49ers own a 19-14-1 advantage, including a 17-11 road win in the most recent meeting on September 19, 2021. They've met just once in the postseason with the 49ers winning 14-0 at home in the wildcard round back on December 29, 1996. The 49ers are 5-0 zero against the spread in their last five playoff games and 23 to eight against the spread in their last 31 games overall. The Eagles are seven to three against the spread in their last 10 home games and one to four against the spread in their last five games overall. The over is four to one in 49ers last five games overall. The under is four to one in Eagles last five games overall. The 49ers are three to seven against the spread in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is seven to three against the spread in their last 10 meetings. This one is going to be well worth the price of admission. The 49ers have won 12 straight games in four of their last five road games. They played well offensively during the season and played better with Purdy under center, scoring 30 or more points in six of their last eight games. They have one of the best running games in the league and their passing has also been very good. The Eagles have been great against the pass and led the league in sacks, but they weren't very good against the run. Expect the 49ers to pound the ball on the ground, which will free up their passing game. With weapons like Kittle, who has been great in recent games, Samuels, and McCaffrey to deal with, the Eagles will have a hard time slowing down the 49ers in this game. The Eagles started the season 13-1, but they lost three of their last four regular season games. They had the third best scoring offense in the league this season, thanks to the ninth best passing game and fifth best running games in the league. Even though they ran for over 250 yards against the Giants, they won't gain a lot of yards on the ground in this game because the 49ers have the second best run defense in the league this season and didn't give up more than 80 yards to a rusher this season. Their defense held the Cowboys, who had the ninth best running game to 76 yards in their last game and will do the same thing to the Eagles, which will force them to throw the ball more than they would like. With Hurts dealing with a shoulder injury and facing a pass defense that has been dominant this season, expect the Eagles to have a hard time scoring a lot of points in this game. San Francisco's last loss came more than three months ago when they lost to Kansas City 44-23 back on October 23rd. They haven't missed a step despite playing their third quarterback of the season, including Purdy, who was Mr. Irrelevant in the draft. Philadelphia earned home field advantage but moving the ball against a stout 49ers defense that led the league in scoring defense, second in rushing yards allowed per game and second in yards per carry allowed is going to be a challenge. As long as Purdy withstands the rush of the Eagles, who led the league with 70 sacks and doesn't commit a rash of turnovers, the 49ers will be in this one the whole way. The Philadelphia Eagles look to be a well-oiled machine on both sides of the ball and they should be favored at home. However, we're getting free points with the 49ers, a team that hasn't lost a game since October 23rd. Brock Purdy is taking what defenses give him while the playmakers make plays, and that 49ers defense is something special. This is going to be a bloodbath defensively on both sides. It will come down to the wire. San Francisco will find a way to steal the game and earn their spot in the Super Bowl. So the San Francisco 49ers to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. 
San Francisco enters this game having seen the over post a 10-9 mark on the season in their 19 games. The 49ers stayed under the number in four of their seven true road games this season heading into this one. San Francisco has seen the under post a 7-0 mark in their last seven road playoff games. Philadelphia enters this game having seen the over hit in 10 of their 18 games on the year. The Eagles went over the number in six of their 10 games at home this season. The 49ers are averaging 27 points per game and 25 points per game on the road. They averaged 16 points per game in their last three games against the Eagles. With Philadelphia giving up 18 points per game at home, the 49ers will be held under their average in this game. The Eagles are averaging 29 points per game and 28 points per game at home. They averaged 23 points per game in their last three games against the 49ers. The 49ers and Eagles played under the total in their last four meetings. With two top 10 scoring defenses in this one along with a pair of relatively inexperienced quarterbacks, this game is a defensive struggle. Also, with San Francisco giving up 18 points per game on the road, the Eagles won't score enough points to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Cincinnati Bengals vs. Kansas City Chiefs the Kansas City Chiefs host the Cincinnati Bengals on Sunday night from GEHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium in the AFC Championship game. The winner of this game heads to the Super Bowl 57 in Glendale, Arizona to face the winner of San Francisco vs. Philadelphia. Last year, the Bengals upset the Chiefs 27-24 in overtime from Arrowhead Stadium as a 7-point underdog to earn a berth to the Super Bowl, where they lost to the Los Angeles Rams 23-20 but covered the 4.5 points. This year, the Chiefs flew to Ohio and fell at Cincinnati 27-24 as a two-and-a-half point favorite. To get to this point, the Bengals defeated Baltimore at home 24-17 as a seven-and-a-half point home favorite in the opening round and blew out Buffalo in the snow last week 27-10 as a six-point road dog in the divisional round. Kansas City hung on to beat Jacksonville 27-20 as a 10-point favorite last week in the divisional round. They had a bye in the opening round. Cincinnati is 13-2-1 against the spread in their last 16 games against a team with a winning record and 5-1-1 against the spread in their last 7 playoff games while the under is 15-7-1 in their last 23 games overall. Kansas City is 2-8-1 against the spread in their last 11 games overall and 1-8-1 against the spread in their last 10 home games while the under is 4-1 in their last 5 games against a team with a winning record. The Bengals have won 10 straight games and 5 straight road games. They have played well offensively, even on the road where they are scoring more than 24 points per game. They have the fifth best passing game in the league and they can run the ball when they have to. The Chiefs played well defensively for most of the season, but they struggled down the stretch. Their pass defense hasn't been great and they're facing a locked in Burrow who has had a lot of success against them over the past two seasons and will have a hard time slowing down the Bengals in this game. The Chiefs have won six straight games. They led the league in scoring during the season, thanks in large part to the best pass passing game in the league. They are heading into this game with Mahomes dealing with a high ankle sprain he suffered in the win over the Jaguars. Even though he walked without a noticeable limp during the week, it's not an injury that can be overcome in a few days, so expect his mobility to be limited in this game. The Bengals did a great job defending the pass in recent games, holding their last three opponents under 200 passing yards per game. They went on the road and held the fourth best defense in the league to 10 points in their last game and won't have trouble slowing down the Chiefs as well. Burrow has been playing so well heading into this game, and the Bengals' defense only gave up only 10 points to the Bills, and their defense is going to step up again. The Bengals might give up more than 10 points here, but they are still going to step up enough to get the job done. Even if Malms is 100% healthy, which he's not going to be, the Bengals are going to get the job done in this game. So the Cincinnati Bengals to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. The Bengals are averaging 26 points per game and 24 points per game on the road. They averaged 29 points per game in their last three games against the Chiefs. With Kansas City giving up 19 points per game at home, the Bengals will be held under their average in this game. The Chiefs are averaging 29 points per game and 25 points per game at home. They averaged 26 points per game in their last three games against the Bengals. The Bengals and Chiefs played under the total in three of their last four meetings, with Cincinnati giving up 21 points per game on the road, the Chiefs won't score enough points to push the score past the total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video. 
whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.